welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful solid granny square top so to begin with we are going to make 16 such solid granny squares and four such solid granny triangles. So for making this, you'll need yarn of your choice. I'm using 100% cotton yarn and a hook. I'm using a three millimeter hook for this video. So to begin with, we are going to make a magic ring. And if you don't know how to make a magic ring, I have a separate video for the same and I'll be linking it in the description box below. So if you follow the instructions, it is really very easy actually. Once you've made the magic ring, we are going to chain three now. So this is one, two and three. So this chain three will be counted as our first double crochet. And um, now we are going to make three more double crochets in that magic ring. So we are going to yarn over, insert a hook in the magic ring and yarn over, pull through. We'll be left with three loops on a hook. Now we are going to yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. So this is our second double crochet and we are going to make two more double crochets in that magic ring. So we are going to make four clusters of four double crochets as our starting point. So this is our third double crochet. And now we are going to make one more double crochet and that will complete our first cluster. We are done making our four double crochets. Now we'll just pull through that string so that we tighten our circle a bit so it's easier for us to make stitches. Now we're going to chain two and this will be the corner of our square. And we're going to yarn over, insert a hook in that magic ring, yarn over, pull through. We'll be left with three loops on a hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through two loops and a yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops so what we're doing now is we are making the second cluster of our uh, gra solid granny square as i mentioned earlier we have to make a total of four clusters and this is our second cluster so we are making a third double crochet And we are going to make one more double crochet. We'll yarn over, insert a hook in the magic circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And we're again going to chain two. So this chain two is going to be the corner of our square. I'm just going to make four clusters here and I'll see you at the end of this row. Now we are at the end of our row and now we are going to pull that string and we are going to tighten that magic ring so that there is no hole between our square and we have already made chain 2 and now we are going to make a slip stitch in the topmost chain of that chain 3, the first chain 3 that we made. So we are going to insert a hook, yarn over pull through that chain and we are going to pull through that loop as well so this is going to be a slip stitch now moving on to our row 2 we are going to chain 3 again and of course this chain 3 as well will be counted as our first double crochet and now we are going to make another double crochet on top of that next stitch 
so on top of that double crochet over there we are going to make another double crochet so we're going to yarn over insert a hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two loops again we are going to make another double crochet on top of that next double crochet so we have a total of four double crochets here and we are going to make four double crochets on top of them and here we are on our last double crochet now we are going to make two double crochets in that gap over there so the corner over there actually so we are going to yarn over insert a hook in that corner yarn over pull through we'll yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through the remaining two loops and we'll make one more double crochet in that same corner Now we are going to chain two again to make the corner over here. After chaining two, we are again going to make two double crochets in that same corner. So in that same gap, we are going to make two more double crochets. So the whole theme of our solid double granny square will be we'll make a double crochet on top of each of the each double crochets and then in the corner we are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets again so this is how our solid granny square will keep increasing in size So here we are on our second corner now we are going to make two double crochets in that corner chain two and we'll make another two double crochets in that same corner so in our first row we had a cluster of four double crochets and now in our second row we are going to have a cluster of eight double crochets and as we progress on to the next rows our the count of our double crochets is going to keep increasing like that So I'm just going to complete my second row and I'll see you at the end of this row. So here we are at the end of our second row and we have this corner now. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make two double crochets in that corner. So this is our first double crochet and this is our second double crochet and now we're going to chain two so that chain two will make the corner of our second row and we are going to make another two double crochets in that same corner so this is our first double crochet this is the first one and we are going to make another double crochet in that same corner and now we are going to make a slip stitch in the third chain of our chain, first chain 3 so we are going to insert a hook in that topmost chain and we are going to yarn over pull through that chain and we are also going to pull it through the loop so this will 
be our slip stitch and our row 2 is done as well. Now moving on to our row 3, we are going to chain 3 again, 1, 2 and 3. This is going to be our first double crochet as usual and now we are going to make another double crochet on top of that next double crochet over there. We are going to yarn over, insert a hook in that next stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through 2 loops and a yarn over pull through the remaining two loops so this is just going to be the usual thing we are going to make a double crochet on top of each double crochet and in the corners we are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets again so i'm just going to continue doing this and i'll see you at the end of this row Here we are at the end of our third row and we have already made two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets in that uh, corner over there. And now there is one double crochet left wherein we have to make one double crochet on top of it. So we're going to yarn over, insert a hook in that stitch, yarn over, pull through, then we'll yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And now we are going to insert a hook in that topmost chain in that of that chain 3 and we are going to make a slip stitch over here. So now even our row 3 is complete and it should somewhat look like this. So I'm just going to make it somewhat bigger as it is for the top. I'm going to make a bigger granny square. Now you simply have to decide the width of your top. And whatever width you want, you, you have to divide it by two. And that should be the measurement of your solid granny square diagonally. So once done, our solid granny square should somewhat look like this. Now let's make the solid granny triangle. So to begin with, we are going to make a magic ring. So for that, we are going to make an X on our fingers. And we are going to make a slip knot. So here we have made a magic ring. And now we are going to make a cluster of four double crochets like we are going to make two clusters of four double crochet. So now we are going to chain three and this chain three will be counted as our first double crochet. We will just pull that strand to make our ring smaller and now we are going to make a double crochet in that ring. So as we do it in the solid granny square we are going to make the same clusters over here we are going to make two more double crochets in that same ring so here is our third double crochet and we are going to make one more double crochet in the ring now we have made our first cluster of four double crochets and now we are going to chain two this chain two will be uh, will create our edge and now we're going to make another four double crochets in that same ring so this is our first double crochet then we'll make a second one now we're going to make a third one and at the last one
so after making two clusters of four double crochets we are going to pull that strand tighten nice so you can see that a triangle has started to form as we'll move on to the next rows it will be much better so now we are going to chain three this chain three will again be counted as our first double crochet and now we're going to turn around our work and in the very first stitch right after the chain three we are going to make two double crochets so we'll make a double crochet in the chain right next to it and now we are going to make another double crochet in that same stitch so this is going to be our increase and now we are going to make a double crochet on top of each stitch so we'll have three more double crochets this is our second and this is going to be our third double crochet and now in that chain 2 space we are going to make two double crochets so this is our first double crochet and now we're going to make another double crochet in that chain 2 space and now we are again going to chain 2 so this is again going to be our edge of the triangle and we'll make two more double crochets in that chain 2 space. So for a triangle we have to increase it from both the sides like from the edge and from both the sides. And now we're going to make one double crochet on top of each stitch for the next three stitches. So this is our second stitch. And now the third one. And now we'll be left with uh, one more stitch. So in our last stitch, we are going to make uh, three more double crochets. So in the last stitch over there, we're going to make three double crochets. So that will be our increase. This is our first double crochet and our second double crochet in the same stitch and we will make another double crochet in that exact same stitch. Now that we have done our second row you can see that our triangle is forming Now uh, we will move on to our row 3. For our row 3 we are going to chain 3 again. So this chain 3 is obviously going to be our first double crochet and in the next stitch we are going to make two double crochets. So this is our first double crochet in the same stitch and we'll make another in the same stitch. So this is again going to be the increase. Now we are going to make one double crochet in each of the stitches and in the chain 2 space we are again going to make two double crochets, chain 2 and two double crochets and again on the on another side we are going to make one double crochet on top of each stitch and in the last stitch we are going to make three double crochets and we are going to keep doing this exact same thing till we reach the desired uh, size of our granny triangle now I am at the end of our third row and I'm left with one stitch right over there and I'm going to make three double crochets in that last stitch so this is our first double crochet and we'll make another double crochet in that last stitch
and a third one now. So this is how our granny triangle should look like. I'm going to add on more rows in this because I want, it to my, want my granny triangle to be bigger. For the next row we are again going to chain 3, so this is 1, a 2 and 3. This chain 3 will be counted as our first double crochet. We are going to turn around our work and we are going to make 2 double crochets in that last stitch. So this is our first double crochet and we'll make another double crochet in that exact same stitch. And now you know the drill. One double crochet in each, each stitch and in the chain two, 2 space we're going to make two double crochets, chain 2 and two double crochets. Again one double crochet on top of each stitch and in the last stitch we're going to make three double crochets. So now I'm going to continue doing this and I'll see you once I'm done with my granny triangle. So this is how our granny triangle should look like. Now we have to take 12 such granny squares and we have to attach them here. So I've made a diagram and we have to attach our 12 granny squares like this. Now for attaching the squares, I'm going to place one square on top of another and right sides facing each other. And we are going to attach this edge here. Now for attaching both the granny squares, I am going to sew in both the edges. And for that, I am going to use the invisible stitch. For that, we will take a needle and we are going to insert a needle in between the two chains. So this is our topmost chain over there, like the chain on the corner. We are going to insert our needle between the two chains of our corner. And now we are going to do the same thing for a square number two. We are going to insert our needle in between the two stitches, between the two chains on the edge. And we are going to pull through. So this is going to give us uh, an invisible stitch and we are going to leave in that small tail so that we can sew in the end. Now we are going to insert our needle in between the two next two chain stitches of our square number one and we will pull through. Now we are going to do that on square number 2 as well. We are going to insert our needle in between the next two chains. And we are again going to pull through. Now here you can use any stitch to join the two granny squares. But I prefer invisible stitch so that there is no seam that shows through. Now we are just going to continue uh, doing this. We are going to insert our needle in uh, between the two chain stitches and we are going to pull through and we will do that on our square number 2 as well.
Now you can see that as we have used the invisible stitch over here, you cannot see any seam or any harsh line. And how flawless our join looks. Solid granny square top. So after making a panel of 12 granny squares, we have to attach this granny square in this gap. So for the ease of understanding, I have numbered them. So you have to attach the square number 8 in between square number 1 and 9. And once we do that, our top will look like this. Now once we are done joining our 12 granny squares, it should somewhat look like this. Now we have to attach the sleeves and the bottom triangles. So this is our first triangle, then our second triangle and then the third triangle at the bottom. And we are going to attach sleeves. So that is the sleeves, the granny squares that will attach and that will be the armhole. So I have drawn a diagram so that you can understand better. So the 14th and the 16th granny squares will be behind the 13th and the 15th one. And the 4th triangle will be behind the 2nd triangle like on the back side. So once done it should somewhat look like this. Once done a solid granny square top will somewhat look like this. Thanks for watching my video. If you do like my video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Happy crocheting!